weeks of the Generation Citizen program, students work to brainstorm, research, and take action on an issue they care about in their community. At the end of the semester, student representatives from all Generation Citizen classes go to Civics Day to present the results of their projects and see what other classes have accomplished. Today is about you. This is the House of Representatives. You are sitting in the seats that the state representatives in Rhode Island always sit in. Um, and we have some really important elected officials here that care about what you think. I applaud the work you're doing here and uh, learning about civics is very admirable and leads to eventually sitting in these chairs or standing here as governor. Uh, that's how you get started, getting involved in your community. Civics Day is one of the highlights of my year coming here to see the students and that they put so much work into their presentations and into the topics that they care about that are really important to them. So it's a little bit different. They get to choose their topics and decide on what's important to them. And then when they're here at the State House to see the enthusiasm with their presentations, and it's just a th true thrill being here to see the students in action. Generation Citizen is a program that I care about because of the somewhat odd structure of modern American education where um, although we're supposed to be teaching you know young people to be uh, you know members of the community and sort of training them to be the citizens that we want them to be in the quote unquote real world you know the classroom itself can be pretty isolated from the rest of the community and Generation Citizen brings that bridge and uh, helps the students who are um, often not very aware of how they can be involved in the sort of the broader world to recognize that not only do they have a voice but that the community around them is um, receptive to it. I've learned that no matter how old you are you can still make an impact on your community in a positive way. Now the government is run by mostly adults and there are some smart people that are our age that need to be more involved in it because pretty much the youth controls our generation and I think that the more they get involved the better the government will be to make better decisions in the world. A lot of times in social studies and history, civics is a, the aspect of the, that is kind of left out of the curriculum. You know, we're so interested in learning or art, we have so much other uh, history to teach, sometimes civics gets pushed aside due to other um, various factors. But with this program, it allows them to kind of take a step back from that and to, you know, understand, first of all, identify and try to, um, you know, understand what's going on around them. Generation Citizen is like a group that makes the community a better place. If I look in someone's shoes, it affects them greatly, and it feels like I, I feel like I want to help them, and that's what that's what Generation Citizen does. They actually make me, and they promote me helping other students, not only looking at myself but others, and I feel that that's just making a great community. Things that we try to teach about in Generation Citizen is the concept of leadership. We don't just want you to take effective civic action, we want you to be leaders. What you're doing can change your world and what you're doing can change the world. The greatest impact of Generation Citizen has got to be the increased awareness of what the world around them looks like and how they can be involved in it. I think that a lot of students come in particularly at that age not really knowing what government is for, how it works, um, how it impacts their lives on a day-to-day -day basis, and really going through the process of communicating with government and seeing how they can influence it um, brings them an awareness of their role as citizens. video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no.